This is Adrian Manns. If you'd like to learn more about the strategy we'll be discussing today, you'll find all the details in my new book, Trade Secrets, Powerful Strategies for Volatile Markets. It's available with free shipping at TraderInsight.com and Amazon.com. You can also order from your local retailer. The best trader education anywhere, only from TraderInsight.com. For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and here's your two-minute strategy session. Newer subscribers of The Trading Service always send me emails asking about position management, and I'd like to show you just what it is that I do to figure out where to get in, where to get out, and then when to sit on my hands during the session. In this case, we're looking at a chart at GameStop. This was on the service today. We had an entry right off the opening bell, had about four or five cents of slippage. Um, getting into that, no problem. We'll take a slip all the way down to about 10 cents from the stated entry price. Stock managed to trend lower almost immediately and got us to 50% to the profit target in the fourth bar of trading. So 20 minutes into the session, we were 50% to the profit target. Each one of these lines represents the levels on the service. 27.50, the green line on my chart, is the go line. That's where I'm entering a position. 27.40 and 27.60 represent 10 cents in my favor and 10 cents against me. So if you read the rule book, uh, you'll see that I've got all these levels plotted that tell me exactly what to do and when to do it. If the stock would have triggered me in and then went up to 2760 before it got down to 2740, I would have cut it loose at 2760 and looked for a second entry. Once we got to 50% to the target, trail the stop at 2750, right at the entry price. And again, if you watched the video yesterday, I use conditional orders to handle that type of thing. So once I've got a position established and it gets 50% to the profit target, I will go and enter a conditional order that says if we trade back up to $27.50, take me out of the trade. And in this case, I didn't do anything as far as the profit target because I was sitting on this one and watching it to make sure that uh, I would catch an extension if it moved lower. Now in this case, unfortunately, we're down to 27.06. I did exit this one on a reversal of two closes. We hit $27.18, trended lower, moved lower, had a, uh, a nice move all the way down to 27.03 here. But then, look, we had a close of 27.07 on uh, the 10.15 bar. We had a 10.20 close at 27.06. And then we had a bar at 10.25 that got up to... Uh, uh, 27.15 and actually took us out at about 27.11. So that's trading it by the rules according to the Around the Horn rule book that you find every night with the Around the Horn trading plan. If you have any questions, get an email over to me, adrian at traderinsight.com. Uh, you can also ask Dave, dave at traderinsight.com. He's very good about uh, explaining the rules to people. I hope you're having a great trading day and remember to use protective stops on every single trade.